Hi guys, this is Moonseeker Light Guardian back with another quick pick a card reading. So we got pile number one, pile number two. Take a moment to connect, pause if you need to. But I'm gonna go ahead and do pile number one. So message from your divine counterpart. I finally found someone that let me be myself. So what they're telling you is that they can be authentic with you and you let them be authentic. You don't put them down for their flaws. You don't pinpoint their flaws. You just let them be them and they in return let them let you be you. So what else do we have with this? We have soulmate. We have naked. And we have lost so what I'm getting from this is that perhaps you guys are in separation um, you have this soul connection you both feel it you both want it but I feel like someone couldn't be completely naked this is someone couldn't be completely um, naked mind body and soul and be vulnerable um, it made them feel lost your divine counterpart feels lost because they found someone who let them be themselves. They were themselves with you, but they couldn't shed that last layer, which would leave them vulnerable. And that perhaps made you walk away or they walked away. But either way, they're feeling lost now. They're standing at this road. They want to walk for, towards you. But they are too afraid to be vulnerable and naked. So let's have a quick look at the at the lost and naked. Why is lost here? We have evaluating. Why is naked here? We have memories. So when it comes to feeling being naked and vulnerable, um they perhaps are thinking about a time when they were that in the past, not with you. It could have been with you, but I'm sensing more with someone else, where they were completely naked, they were vulnerable, and that didn't work out for them. So now they're kind of like, do I completely shed all of my layers? Because I know that this person lets me be me, but what if I shed that last layer and this person is going to do what someone did to me in the past? And um, with loss, we have here um, evaluating. And this is about looking at the road ahead and evaluating which way to take, how to approach this journey that is before them moving forward. So this is also about, I see a bit of red in these things here. This is about perhaps the heart space here or root chakra. But for me, it's more about evaluating their heart space and looking at these memories that may have caused them pain and looking at, do I shed the last layer? This is a soul connection. They let me be who I am. Maybe it's time for me to let go of this last, layer of defense be completely naked so that we can go back to harmony and balance with this person with you so pile number one that was your message so let's move on to pile number two so a few cards came out for pile number two we have you are a unicorn rare and magical we have my heart beats only for you and we have I wanted to know it was my choice. So this person obviously adores you. They see you as someone who's rare and magical. Their heart beats only for you, but they had some kind of uh, growth they had to do. They had to walk away to see that it was their choice. They were perhaps doubting um, that they had any control in the matter when it comes to this connection. Why is that? We have karmic partner. 
we have soul connection and we have ancestry so they might have been in a karmic situation before meeting you and they were like it was a perhaps a codependent a relationship so they felt that that wasn't their choice they might perhaps wanted to just make sure that this wasn't a karmic relationship and this was more a soul connection because they walked away and wanted to be um, uncaged so that they can know that this was their choice uh, another thing i'm getting here is that they perhaps are in a karmic partnership now so that they can learn the karmic lessons so that when they come back to you in the soul connection they have um, healed that karma and you guys can move on to a more balanced and more harmonious relationship we also have here ancestry this is about looking up to your past to your um to your lineage for help for guidance so your soul connection your divine counterpart in uh, in looking into you know if it was their choice and all the doubts and worries they have about being in a soul connection they can find answers within the lineage within older and wiser people people that have gone through more of this so they can advise them better this is not going to your mates and be like you know there's this chick or this guy that i know blah 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 this about is this is about like-minded people people on this journey people who can counsel them right their heart beats only for you because you guys are in a soul connection you guys your soul recognizes theirs and their soul recognizes yours but they need to learn these karmic lessons um for them to stop having these kind of doubts and they might have these kind of doubts coming and going throughout your connection so pile number two that was your message from your divine counterpart hope that resonated thank you guys bye